What's up, dorks, dweebs, uh, little big robots? Back with another video. This time I'm taking a look at another one of the toys I got in the Hasbro Pulse, 45% uh, off sale, and that is this Power Ranger monster guy. I do not collect Power Rangers at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. They always look really cool, and I always think, hey, those are really neat. Some of them. Um, I'm not really into whatever that genre is called. Uh, can't, what is it called? Where they, it's like the costume, you know, Power Rangers and all that stuff. It's cool. I, it's not, nothing against it. It's just not something I ever got into, so it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't sit. It doesn't sit in my soul like it does for other people. But this guy, Power Rangers Lightning Mighty Morphin Pudgy Pig, and his buddy uh, Eye Guy. I saw them released and I was like, I have got to get these. They're so disgusting and cool. And they look like, like I said on the review for this one, they look like a Salvador, like they asked Salvador Dali to to uh, design a toy. So let's see if we can get this out of here with, out of here without too much trouble. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of trouble. They always are, but we'll see. They don't, you know, they don't need to tie them in this much, I don't think. I think they're afraid of them, you know, the display not being appropriate or it not displaying correctly or something in the store i understand all oh, i get it i get it so this one is different than the eye guy in the way that the eye guy this one here can kind of work i mean you could put that guy in a warhammer game and it's going to freak people out the piggy guy here is a bit more comical looking especially with these big forks and stuff but it's still a really really cool figure i bought them um, for the sake, I'm not one to buy lines that I don't normally buy. Uh, let me get this out. Uh, get this out. I don't. All right, try not to buy. Sorry, hang on. Did I miss one? My God, if I missed one. Come on, piggy guy. Uh, get out. Uh. God dang, I hate that. Um, I'm not one to buy lines I don't normally collect. I collect about 10 lines right now, and I'm trying to... Oh, I'm trying to keep them, you know, in control or whatever, because otherwise I just wind up with shelves and shelves of crap, or just boxes of crap that I won't use, and I don't like that. But this looked so amazing. It, it does need a, a wash. It does need some, some, some uh, additional love, TLC. But, I mean, look at it. It's it, it's so creepy. You can even see inside his mouth. Does it open? Oh, my God. His... Whoa. Look at that. And I'm sure you could see inside there. Let's see. Can you see his tonsils? That is so creepy. I love that, though. Oh, his entire head. Uh, one cool thing about the Power Rangers and those other shows, too, is they do a lot of uh, practical... You know, not effects. I guess they do practical effects as well. But, you know, like costumes and stuff. I just absolutely love it. This, is, this rubber is a bit... Um, it's hard to describe. It's not rubberized. But he's pretty posable for a pig face guy. You can even sit him down. This reminds me of Modoc, which is the character... I mean, the character, the, the toy I'm getting ready to... <laughs> ding, 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 um, getting ready to review as well. Um, it's pretty pretty darn movable. I'm not I'm not you're not getting this for the posability though You're getting this because it looks look at that I've got to get a picture of that. Let's see. I'm gonna get a snack a picture of that for my thumbnail <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good photo My gosh, that is insane Look at that. So there he is next to I guy. He comes with a punchy fist Again, needs a little bit of TLC, a little bit of a wash would be amazing. Um, I need to just get in the habit of washing any toys like this I get immediately. It's kind of funny, he only has, there's an open hand there, which you already have. Why wouldn't they make a, I guess it's kind of a fist. They only put the fist really on the left, on the right arm. Should be pretty easy to disassemble. Reassemble, now I can be like, hey, get out of here. Look at that though. Easy chomp action. And that sound. Lovely sound. Wow, that is incredible. Uh, he's got a good fork and a knife. Is it, can anything hold it? I don't think, maybe these can hold it. Oh, that's why this fist is like, I think it can hold the, there you go. So he's fighting you with a fork and a knife. 
as you do when you're a giant pig person. The ears are a little bit floppy. But this could, as I, could, as I was saying, this could definitely, if you put a, just a nice wash on this and on this guy here, you're going to have all those details pop out and just look insanely cool. This, where would that go? Let's see if it shows. Ah, the electricity stuff goes in the back of his fork, so he holds it like that. That is incredible looking. So happy picked it up. I didn't, I, like I said, I wasn't really interested in buying these guys. But then when you see them and they're on sale for 45% off, it's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy those guys. Let's see if I can, you know, you might be able to do two is you might be able to stand them up using, help them using the fork. So that's not too bad. So that takes some tweak and he might not stand very easily on the shelf. This guy does really easy. He's just a big, he's got these nice big flat feet. Um, different scales, 124th scale uh, Joy Toy figure. Here's a 118 scale Joy Toy figure. You know, could make it kind of, here's a 1 144 scale Gunpla or a 30 minutes missions kit, same, same basic concept. So that's a good scale kind of comparison. Um, out of the two, I prefer this one because this one is so much more, like I said, you could use this in a Warhammer game. You could have this as a kid and it would freak you out. Do you know what I mean? You have all these different options with this one. This one is a bit more specific. He's got the hat. It's all, I wish you could kind of maybe take the hat off. I wonder if you, that would be cool if he's all that flesh under there and you could actually just have no hat at all. That'd be kind of interesting. What a creep. What a creep. I'm so happy. Oh, here, let me put the sparkly stuff on the, on the fork there. Because, you know, you have to have sparkle stuff when you have a magic fork thing. So, they've, you know, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to be using the magic stuff, and I definitely will not be using the fork. What I would be doing is I would probably be uh, washing them, dry brushing them up a bit, and putting them on the shelf and just having them look absolutely ridiculous. It'd be cool if you could put an LED in there <laughs> yeah, as, as he opens up. Fantastic. What a crazy toy. Power Rangers are a trip. It's a total trip. Anyway, have a good one, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.